This is ChatGPT. It terrifies me. I've used it for three minutes and I'm horrified by this. You just ask it. What do you want to ask it? Tell me anything. What do you want to ask uh, it? Uh. Putting you on the spot. Uh. But how are you? <laughs> as an artificial, <laughs> as an artificial intelligence, I do not have feelings or emotions. However, I am here to assist you to the best of my abilities. Yeah, uh, can you That's like, actually... read my essay? <laughs> well, do you have an essay? That would actually be really funny. Do you have an essay? I, I, what can I put in? I'm going to put in one of my scripts. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Just... This is an old video. It's not very long. I'll put this in. Sure, this will be good. This is an old video where I talked about Outer Wilds. It looks like you have a lot of thoughts and feelings about the Ooh, game Outer Wilds. Wild. <laughs> It's interesting that you mentioned the lack of replay value in some games, how it could be a result of their design. Here are a few suggestions for improving the essay. <laughs> Holy shit. Check for spelling and grammar errors. <sighs> oh, get fucked. <laughs> oh, I spelled incentive wrong. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being spell checked. Apparently oh I typed them elves instead of themselves. <laughs> Oh, you know what else it's done? Look, it's corrected incentivize spelt like an English person to incentivize spelt like an American person. <laughs> oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit. But look how fast it was. Oh my god. Yeah, it's instant. I should, I should, unironically, I should write scripts and give this fucking scary oh AI. God. Get it to proofread my shit. It will know better than I will. This is wild. Oh my god, I was born too early. <laughs> No, do you know the other thing that's really crazy is you can give it, you can ask it to generate ideas for websites and it will code the website for you. Can you write the code for a video? Sure, here's some example code for a simple video embedding software in Python. Oh my god. Here's the thing, I know nothing about code, but from looking at social media and seeing stuff like this, mm -hmm. the people who do know about code are freaking out about it. Which makes me comfortable in saying that this is scary. <laughs> I don't know shit about code, but the people who do know shit about code are looking at this and going, what? That's nuts. Like, the, the school is dead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just... Modern education, done. Dead. Yes, yeah, dead. I thought it would be funny to, to ask ChatGPT to design me a game. So, like, I don't have to design a game at all. I, you know, it's the same way education's dead. Maybe game design's dead. I just have this give me ideas, and as long as I can code them myself. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna type in, generate me 10 random names for video games. Here are 10 randomly generated names for video games. These are actually not that bad. So, which of these do you like the best? Which one, is, which one of these do you think is the best one? <laughs> uh, I think I like The Void Chronicles. The Void Chronicles, spooky. Yeah. Tell me more about the, uh, the Void Chronicles. I'm sorry, but I don't have any. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't have any inherent knowledge about specific games or their storylines. I can only provide information about topics that I have been trained on or that are commonly known. How do I get it to? How do I trick it? How do I trick mm. it into coming up with the name? Oh, that's good. I'm fucking smart. Based on the title Void Chronicles, I would guess the game is set in a mysterious, possibly otherworldly <sighs> place known as the Void. He's cracked the coil. <laughs> He's figured it out. <laughs> And that the oh game story is told for a series of chronicles or records. Beyond that, it's difficult to say what the game would be about with more information. It's worth noting that game titles can be intentionally misleading mm -hmm. or simply not give much insight into the game's actual content. The AAA industry's been called out. No, oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> this is fucking so stupid. <laughs> this is great. Oh it's my crazy God. though, isn't it? I'm freaking out. I'm glad I got you on the call opposed to anybody else. <laughs> Because you, the other week, were sending me AI-generated pictures of your own face. <laughs> <laughs> you were sending me AI-generated, like, art of your face and going, look at how crazy, I gave it, like, three yeah. selfies, look at this shit. I'm fucking wild, bro. <laughs> like I said earlier, I was born too early. <laughs> now Void I have Chronicles. to... So, what, it, The Void Chronicles isn't a real game. No. We have to convince it, because if we ask it, what's the Void Chronicles about? It goes, the Void Chronicles isn't real. So we have to convince it to come yeah. up with it itself okay. by wording it in a really, like, particular way. The what void, yes. genre of game do you think would suit this best? Question mark. It's difficult to say for sure. It, gives me, it always gives me the fake not answer. It's difficult to say for sure what genre of game would suit The Void Chronicles best without more information about the game's gameplay mechanics. I'm trying to ask you about the game's gameplay mechanics. Mm -hmm. 
However, given that the game is set in another world of place known as the Void, I would guess it might be a science fiction or fantasy game. Oh, I meant genre like roguelike. Yeah, yeah. Or like yeah. platformer, but it thinks I mean genre like movie genre like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't mean that. I expected it to just be like, start making shit up. <laughs> like, I, ex I expected it to just start making things up. We are essentially tricking AI into thinking <laughs> or like coming up with yeah. something new. Yeah, like it can't think in hypotheticals because it's no. not. It's trained on information from the internet. To get the name, we just said, can you give me 10 randomly generated names? How do we make it just list 10 genres? Yeah, okay, no, no, I've got one, I've got one. Can you list the top 10 most popular genres of video games? I'm just using it as Google now. Mm -hmm, you know. <laughs> so, so do we, so which one of these? <laughs> do we, <laughs> should we make a, <laughs> we make a sports game called The Void Chronicles? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> what are the top 10 most popular video game developers? Ooh. And then we can ask it if it was made by EA or something. What would it mm. be like if it was a sports game made by <laughs> EA? What? Enix. Valve doesn't even make Capcom. the list. Valve's not made a game in 10 years. That's not true. Barely made true. a game in 10 years. The last game they made was VR exclusive and was not very accessible. This list is no by no means exhaustive and that there are many- Yeah, so see, you got offended yeah. by it not mentioning Valve. It's like saying sorry to you. <laughs> it's like, sorry I didn't mention Valve. I could have, but I didn't. So which one of these is your- Which one of these would you say would be the funniest <laughs> developer to have The Void Chronicles be developed by? Ooh, I think- I think Ubisoft. You think- <laughs> So if The Void Chronicles- it was hypothetically a sports <laughs> oh game. Oh my god. So many hypothetical situations here. <laughs> You're gonna break its brain. Uh, what do You're overloading you think? the system. Wait, but then what do I even say? What do you think that game would be like? What mm. sort of mechanics do you think this game would have? Is oh, that yeah. good? That's good. You think? <laughs> I think that's stuff. good. It's difficult to say for sure. Oh my god. It's so indecisive all the time. It's difficult to say for sure what mechanic. In general, sports games tend to involve simulating various real world or fictional sports. Oh, I've got a good one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not even going to finish reading this. Hang on. What the fuck? What sports do you think suits the title? Wait, what real world sport do you think suits the title The Void Chronicles? The best. We'll find out. It's difficult to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult to say a lot. It's oh, yeah. difficult to say stuff. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. it's difficult to accurately determine. It's difficult to yeah, determine. Yeah, it, it gives it. It's really you difficult know, like, to say. Uh, it gives itself wiggle room. <laughs> yeah, it gives itself a bailout option. It's like, it's oh yeah, it's all of this, but what do I know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like trying to get rid of all responsibility. Oh, uh, yeah, or so I'm told. <laughs> yeah, so the internet has determined to me. It's, te yeah. <laughs> it's oh, telling yeah. us our decision. Yeah, our decision to make it a sports <clears throat> game was just fucking stupid. And yeah, it's, it's going, it's you're nothing. idiots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sports game, puzzle game, adventure game, fighting game. Which one of these, other than sports game? It's gonna be, gonna be a. Uh... We could make it a match five game. Yeah, <laughs> puzzle make... game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like Candy game. Crush 12, <laughs> The Void mm -hmm. Chronicles. <laughs> it's difficult to say. Yeah, of course. It's difficult to say. And then it repeats the question. <laughs> yeah, so the first like three sentences are just worthless every time. It's Using not... logical thinking and problem solving skills. It's just describing what a puzzle is. Yeah. Now, that's what a puzzle is. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. If, <laughs> if... No, but it, it, look, if you read further into the text, it gives a, an idea for the game. A very, like... Does it? Yeah. Uh, however, it's possible that the game could include features such as different game modes, in-game achievements or challenges, That's... and various power-ups or items that can help the player this, solve puzzles. This isn't a puzzle game mechanic. This is things no. games have on, like, mm. Jeopardy on America. It's like things games have for a thousand. It's like not... <laughs> this is not no, a but game it's like No, but it, it's, it could be added into the game, you know? It's an idea. <laughs> yeah, but, but this isn't a game. No, this but is... if, 
if someone if I had a game, I could put these in it. I could yeah. put more game modes in it if I yeah, wanted. Yeah, exactly. What that game mode would be, fuck knows. What specific mechanic do you think it would be based on? Match three games. Yeah, match three games. What else is a puzzle game? Uh, Kaplunk. Jenga. Is Jenga a puzzle? Jenga's not a puzzle game, is it? <laughs> We're going to have a Jenga game set in the void. <laughs> <laughs> Making it list things is like the most successful we've been so far. Can you list ten different puzzle mechanics in other video games? Sure, here are ten different puzzle, mechan puzzle mechanics. Match three mechanics. Puzzle games that involve matching three or more identical items in a grid, such as Candy Crush. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tile matching mechanics. These are the same. Shut up, ChatGP. This is the same. Match three mechanics and tile matching mechanics like in Bejeweled, they are the- Bejeweled and Candy Crush are the same video game. Physics based puzzles, puzzle- Portal! Oh, Portal. Portal. Oh. Mentioned Portal, he knows it exists. <gasps> Professor Layton, puzzles that involve using logical thinking and problem solving skills to deduce the correct solution such as the Professor Layton series. Maze puzzles like Pac-Man. Mm. Pac-Man is a maze puzzle. Yeah, it is. We no, no, it isn't. It is. <laughs> no, it definitely is. It really isn't. It definitely There's no puzzle. You can see the whole maze the whole time. Yeah, from but you still have to. Do... But, but the like... the hard part of Pac-Man is not solving the maze. It's not dying to fucking Inky Blinky Bonnie and whatever the fucking <laughs> else they're called. <laughs> Isn't it but Inky you have Blinky Bonnie? You have to you have to navigate through the maze. Yeah, uh, without dying to the ghosts. In an optimal way it's like, to. What, is it? what are they called? Inky. <laughs> they're... <laughs> no, they're called like. What are the ghosts called? It's like Inky. Blinky. Bro, I have no. I have no clue. Harambe. Yes. And. Godzilla. <laughs> okay, well, I got distracted by Pac Man definitely yeah. not being a puzzle game. Rhythm puzzles. Puzzles that involve matching specific rhythm. Is that a puzzle again? It, are rhythm games puzzle games? <laughs> Not really. No. They're not puzzle no. games. It's not really a puzzle. Puzzle adventure hybrid games. Games that combine elements of puzzle solving with traditional adventure mechanics, such as in the Professor Le You've said Professor Layton twice. Dude, Look. it's a fan. He's a fan. <laughs> I have to admit something. If you never- you don't know what it is. I have no idea what Professor Layton is. <sighs> Google Professor Layton. Professor Layton is this dude. <clears throat> this is Professor Layton. This, this one. Here. Okay. This is, I forget the kid's name. It's, he's got a name. It's like a puzzle game where there's a bunch of different puzzles and they're all different. They're all like, some of them are match games. Some of them are like logic puzzles. And I played one Professor Layton game on my DS when I was probably 12. This game it, actually looks kind of fun. It is. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not, yeah. they're not bad. I'm not bashing on Professor Layton. Pro Professor Layton's good. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Pro wait, what? Professor Layton versus <laughs> Phoenix Wright? <laughs> what? What? That sounds not right at all. Now I want to know more about this. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. It's on the official Nintendo it's, Yeah, page. it's on the Nintendo website. This is oh a real God. video game. Oh <laughs> <my>. <laughs> it costs £39! <laughs> Fuck off! No, do you know what you should do? You can get these little, like, insert that is like a, it's like a DS insert game that has an SD card port in it. And you can pirate a bunch of DS games and put them on the cartridge and put them in your DS. Ooh. And normally I wouldn't advocate for piracy because, you know, you should pay developers because they work really hard on stuff. But fuck Nintendo. We don't like Nintendo, so you should pirate from Nintendo. You should buy the thing. You get a little cartridge. It's literally oh free God. games. It's crazy. Oh my god. And you can play every game that. ever made. You should do that. You can get every game ever made. You can play every Professor Layton game they ever thought of for free. We got so sidetracked. I forgot entirely what we were doing. Yeah. This okay. is a disaster. <laughs> from the 10 listed puzzle mechanics from earlier, do you think you could choose one for, for the high... for the game I'm making? Called oh. <laughs> the Void. Oh my god! We're making it now. It's official. I've told it's official. Chat, <laughs> it's, it's gonna go on the internet. I've told 
ChatGPT on making a game called The Void Chronicles. Sure, here is one puzzle mechanic that might be well suited for a game called The Void Chronicles. Logic puzzles. Is it going to mention Professor Layton again? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's actually do- we've done it! It's actually done doing it! Wait. For example, the player might need to deduce the correct sequence of actions to complete a task, or figure out how to use certain items or abilities to progress through the game. He's describing Professor Layton again. <laughs> Logic puzzles can be a good way to challenge the player's critical thinking skills and add an element of brain teasing gameplay to the game. Yep. We've done it. We've done it. Pack it up, boys. This is the concept. This, if you wrote this, if you were like a lead dev at like Bethesda, and you wrote this on a whiteboard, people would look at you and nod like, mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a really good point. The Void Chronicles. Hmm. Yeah. And it's like a logic pod. Yeah. Yeah. I like logic puzzles. I love this was... brain teasers. I love brain teasers. I love Professor Layton. <laughs> oh. Oh. I broke it. You broke it. Is it like Regenerate a- Regenerate it. Oh. What? Hmm? Is it- Wait, are we having like a- like a Portal 2 moment? Like- like fucking paradoxes. We broke the AI. <laughs> Um, true. I'll go true. It's like, we broke him. We broke the eight. We broke it. Look. He's confused. Can you give me a logic puzzle? It works this time! And so I didn't fry its brain with a paradox. I didn't confuse it. It just bugged out. Wait, it's doing it. It's making me a video game. It's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, here is a simple logic puzzle. There are five houses in a row, each one painted a different colour. The owner of each house is a So is this... hang on. I need to check something really quickly. If I copy this... I've heard this. Like, it's a common type of logic puzzle, right? Mm -hmm. What I want to know is if I copy and paste this into Google, did it come up with this, or did it just Google it and then t show me it? That's what I want to know. If I type this in, Einstein's riddle. Problem was created by Albert yeah. Einstein in the light, so it just took it off the internet. Mm -hmm. The question is, who owns the fish? The, no. Wait, the person who smokes Pall Mall re rears birds. The person who smokes Pall Mall re rears birds. Yeah. So so it, so it Googled it. Mm -hmm. So we're stealing from Einstein. <laughs> so we so chat you. <laughs> so we're making the Void Chronicles. Boom! The Void Chronicles. Big. Fucking title card. We that just is have, just fucking riddles just from Einstein. Riddles that we googled. <laughs> Basically, we just googled riddles. <laughs> we I mean, got a if bunch it works, it works. Answer: The blue house is on the right of the white house. The man who smokes blend has a neighbor who drinks water. The man who smokes blend lives in the greenhouse. The man who drinks water lives in. Wait. This doesn't answer. The man who keeps fish lives in the red house. The German lives in the yellow house. This isn't an answer to the question. No, it's Have you just, noticed? This is just, just listing more... So we, so we did it, break it. It's listing the information it provided itself. Yeah. Wait, it's giving me another one. Wait. Oh my god. Sure, here's a simple logic... <laughs> <laughs> logic <laughs> puzzles we found on Google, the video game. <laughs> Sure, here's a logic puzzle for you to try. Three friends go to a hotel and give him a room of three. Okay, now I have to just copy and paste this. And it's clicked this, read this, gave me this, but it hasn't given me an answer because the Wikipedia doesn't give me the answer in this paragraph. Have we cracked the code? Have we figured it out? What if I regenerate another response? Here's a simple logic puzzle for you to try. Three friends, Alice, Bob, and Carol, are trying to determine who has the oldest car. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> okay. I'm free. <laughs> okay. Um. Sure. I'm starting to think that the Void Chronicles fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm starting to yeah, think this game maybe sucks. it's not gonna be the big triple A game we were hoping it to be. <laughs> the record breaker. Oh, okay, now I Google this. Three friends. Who has the oldest car? Who has the oldest car? Oh. Yeah, no, if you if you read it, read it. Three friends, Alice, Bob and Carol, are trying to determine who has the oldest car. Alice says, my car is not the oldest. Bob says, my car's not the oldest either. Carol says, well then my car must be the oldest. Who has the oldest car? Yeah. <laughs> Is that... Am I exactly. missing something? 
Are we just not smart enough to... No, I'm... Maybe that's... This logic puzzle makes no sense. <laughs> this logic puzzle isn't a logic puzzle at all. Or are we just dumb, though? Are we? Are you sure we're not just stupid and we've missed the no. point? No. Okay, give me a hint. Here is a hint to help you solve the puzzle. Think carefully about the statements of each person made. How many people could potentially be telling the truth? This doesn't help me. Ask it to give us the answer. I'm just... I'm just... <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, are we dumb? Are we really dumb? Or does this not make any sense at all? The answer is to the puzzle is Carol has the oldest car because she said so. <laughs> so it is really as stupid as it sounded. Yeah. I get a funny feeling that if we are dumb, the entire internet is going to tell us we're dumb. I think we've... I think... <laughs> I think we can't get ChatGPT to make us a game. I think. I mean, we came pretty close. We did. <laughs> we came. We came surprisingly close. Ask it to give you a code to create Pac-Man in C plus. It's. It's. I mean, it's. It's. It's literally doing it. It's doing it again. Education is dead as we know it. If this works, if any of these are good, I will make them. This is like a Sonic Frontiers video. That's <laughs> what this is. Like said, this is like my Valheim video that I made two years ago. <laughs> this is like Oh, that. I never watched it. It's just me whinging about a game I hated. I fucking hated Valheim. <laughs> I thought Valheim was dog shit, and I was absolutely shocked that people were calling it good. Oh this yeah, is... everyone was playing it at a point. At a point. Yeah, yeah, they were, and I was like, I'll play it too. Me and Alex will play it. That'll be. That sounds fun. Awful. Absolutely dreadful. Me and I would not have finished playing Valheim if I wasn't playing it with a friend. If I was playing oh that single God, player, bro. I would quit. You want to play Minecraft? <laughs> I could go for some Minecraft. <laughs> I could do some. I could do some.